This is Twit. All righty, we are back from the break, and that means it is time for our next piece about uh, the future of of Google's attention on the age of its users. Joining us to talk about uh, what's changing is Emma Roth of The Verge. Welcome back to the show, Emma. Hi, yeah, thanks again for having me. Yeah, pleasure to have you here. So Google has announced that it will begin using machine learning. Uh, interesting that it uses that word instead of AI, which is what it would use in other places. Uh, but anyway, to estimate user ages. Uh, can you walk us through how the system works and why Google is announcing that it's implementing this? Yeah, definitely. So this whole thing is kind of just a test for now here in the US. So it hasn't officially been implemented broadly yet. But what it's going to do is it's going to use the data that it has about you, maybe your browsing history or um, your YouTube channel, hit, like the videos you watch on YouTube and the age of your account to feed into this machine learning model. And it's going to try to determine your age. And um, I think this is kind of coming about right now just because of all the child safety laws that are coming up um, in many states across the U.S. And also federal lawmakers are really paying attention to this issue. Definitely. Um, this is an interesting thing because you know, depending on somebody's individual interests and perhaps their, I don't know, they uh, up to this point used Vimeo or something, they may have just created an account and they may be super into um, videos of people building Lego creations, but they like those ones that are giant blocks instead of the ones that are little blocks. That could, you know, in theory, maybe mismark someone as a different uh, age, but the model is supposed to analyze user behavior, supposed to look at the browsing history and the YouTube activity like you talked about. Is there any talk about how it's balancing this accuracy with privacy concerns, given that it has to kind of collect and process all of this data? Um, is Google, Given that Google has a little attention on it for the way that it serves us ads and watches us across its different properties. Any talk about, hey, we're still trying to maintain privacy here. Yeah, they have said that they aren't going to be collecting any additional data on top of um, what this initiative would do. So it's just going to be using like the existing information. But um, privacy advocates are kind of concerned about this type of age verification method because it could potentially open the door for like additional data collection. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the key motivations uh, for this change seems to be, as you might imagine, the growing regulatory pressure, including laws like the Kids Online Safety Act, that's COSA and COPA 2.0. Um, how does Google's approach kind of align with these legislative efforts? Is is this written into this legislation that uh, age verification in such a direct way needs to happen? Is it more vague? Kind of what's the 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 current state of things? Yeah, so there isn't really like one set age verification method, and it is kind of written in a more vague way in these laws and what these laws do is they want to apply protections for minors um, on these platforms and they want to keep them away from potentially harmful content and also from tracking and data collection and by adding age estimation to google it could potentially um, like google will automatically put these accounts into certain have certain settings so they'll have like a safe search filter on for kids under 18 and they'll also have um, restrictions on cer certain types of youtube videos and that does kind of fall in line with what these laws would require but there isn't it's just tough to um for lawmakers right now to like determine like what is the best age verification method and it's kind of a challenge for these online platforms as well Understood. Now, Google plans to notify users when it detects that they may be under 18 and offer verification options like government IDs and credit cards. Um, do we know what happens if users 
at that point don't verify their age? Are they going to be restricted from accessing certain features? Uh, what's kind of the next step um, in, in clamping down once it's been, I guess, not confirmed that they are of the proper age? Yeah, that's a very good question. And Google hasn't really provided an answer on that, but I would assume that you would be kind of blocked out until you do um, verify your age with a government ID or um, a credit card, which some people might argue um, like is an invasion of privacy. But um, yeah, it it does seem like you might be uh, out of luck there. <laughs> Understood. Uh, the announcement also highlights new parental controls and family link updates. I saw that you kind of talked about in your piece. Um, how do these changes help parents manage their children's online experiences more effectively? Yeah, so one of the biggest updates um, Google announced was that they're bringing school time to Android devices. So that means parents can limit um, the calls and messages that their child receives on their phone during school. So they can basically make it so their child doesn't receive any of these types of distractions. And um, they're also adding a way for parents to add and manage contacts directly through the Family Link app for their child's phone. Got it. And then last but not least, I'll ask you, um, with platforms like Meta also exploring AI-based age verification, is this the future of online age restrictions as, as far as you know we can tell? Or are we? is this maybe kind of the starting point and we've still got uh, these companies that have a lot more work to do? I know this is, a, I always like to end a with a little bit of a crystal ball question. It's hard to know for sure, but kind of what's your take on where things are right now in your reporting on this and kind of how companies have responded? Yeah, I think right now, like it does seem like things are leaning towards this AI age verification, like using existing data. Um, I think a lot of like other methods like showing your ID and or like using your credit card are kind of more, they seem a little bit more like harsher and unpopular at this time. But I think that um, platforms are going to continue to refine this a lot more. Um, I think there's definitely like more to be done in this space and that there's there has there's going to be changes down the line, I'm sure. Absolutely. Uh, Emma Roth, I want to thank you so much for taking the time to join us today on the show to give us an understanding of kind of uh, where things are in terms of Google looking out for those uh, of a specific age and trying to verify that going forward. Now we, after, after this test kind of finishes up, we'll be able to figure it out. Um, do we know or rather, that that part's already happened. <laughs> what instead I mean to ask is, if people would like to follow you online, where can they go to do so? Yeah, you can uh, follow me on The Verge, or you can uh, find me on X at emroth08. Beautiful. Thank you so much, and uh, we'll see you again soon. Thank you. Thank you.